The Western Cape now and Cape Town residents are at the mercy of the city's aging sewerage infrastructure. A few months ago, I'm sure you remember, surfers and beachgoers in Musenberg were exposed to a massive sewage spill which resulted in some of the surfers even falling sick. Our so residents of Freigrond say that sewage is even spilling into their homes. City officials are saying that the drains are getting blocked because of the disposal of foreign objects into the system. Taking a look for us, ENCA's Nobusutu Hejana. The smell is unbearable. We must sit in the road. Hmm? If we eat, you must put your mouth, eat a little bit and put your mouth back. It, that's not nice. Wilhelmina September says since July 23rd, her house has been flooded with sewage due to a blocked drain in the street. She says attempts to get assistance from their local ward councillor resulted in no solution. She adds that whenever they report the matter to the city's helpline, they are only given reference numbers. And I don't think it's human for us to live like this. This is inhuman. And this smell, it's like in your house, you can't even sit in your house and have a nice meal or whatever. We must every time, every five minutes, take buckets, buckets of water and throw it in the drain. While filming the interviews with affected residents, the city of Cape Town's water and sanitation tracks arrived. Some residents say they were surprised to see them as they've been waiting for their assistance. If you phone the council about this, they tell you, they give you a serial number. And then they tell you, okay, you have to wait like maybe 12 or 24 hours. In response, the city says it clears blocked drains on a regular basis and the disposal of foreign objects is a major cause of the blockages. It also accuses residents of connecting rain gutters to the sewers, which then leads to the sewers being flooded when it rains. Nabesutu Echana, Cape Town.